everybody, and welcome to another episode of Maley and Mackard Review. I'm Bo Maley, and this is my good friend Cameron Mackard. As you can see, Cameron is sobbing uncontrollably because of how awful this movie is. We've all had our regrets in our childhood, but the biggest regret of all is what we're going to review today. Today, no, we're going to talk about. Don't say it, Bo. Barney the dinosaur. <laughs> Barney, Barney, Barney. We all remember this pet Philip dinosaur when we were five years old, and now we'll always regret watching it. I remember when my parents couldn't stand Barney. Even they thought this was bad. But none are more worse than the first Barney film ever. Barney's Great Adventure. Oh God, no! Barney, the dinosaur. If you thought it's bad enough for mindless children to watch Barney and Friends, how about trying to survive this crap fest? I have been on the IMDb website on this film multiple times, and it was on the bottom 100 list for quite some time, but it's not anymore. But it still doesn't excuse the filmmakers who made this awful movie. After this review, we're gonna get hammered. I know that for damn sure. Well, let's hope we survive this film. Ladies and gentlemen, adults and mindless children alike, this is Barney's Great Adventure. <sighs> so, as the credits roll, we see our three main characters. Marcella, played by Kyla Pratt, Abby, played by Deanna Rice, and Cody, played by Trevor Morgan. And already one big problem about these three kids is that they look too old to be carrying a Barney doll. They'd be the laughing stock of the whole school. They're dumping us for a whole week. Ah, oh, come on, Cody. You're gonna have a great time. You could help Grandpa with the farm chores, like, uh, milking the chickens. <laughs> I'm sorry! What was that? Milking the chickens. <laughs> We're not even two minutes into this film, and I can already tell that it's going downhill from here. I mean... Milking the chickens? Really? Let's continue on. So as the journey continues, the family notices that a festival is going to happen and... Hot air balloon? Fireworks? Wow! Hold up, hold up! Wasn't he just driving not too long ago? Yeah, and it's in the same day right between the shots. Ugh, boy, if the movie keeps making errors like this, I'm going to have a really hard time watching this. Our three kids are visiting their grandparents' house for the week, and of course, Cody is not amused because he's too cool and too hip to stay there. Abby and Marcella wanted to play Barney's pretend with Cody, but then he steals a doll and hides it in a bathtub. As Abby and Marcella catch him, Cody told them to use their imagination and... Uh-oh. Well, what's going on? This is getting uncomfortable. Don't do it, Cody! Don't open the curtains! <laughs> the power of Christ compels you! The spot of Satan is here! God, that opening is so uncomfortable. Especially coming out of the shower, there is going to be a lot of pedophile jokes in this review. So I have a little counter going on. So, as our dinosaur who feels a kid again, uh, I'm sorry, I mean... Feels like the kid again appears. Bonnie, Marcella, and Abby arrive to a barn where they. I hope it's not foreplay. Close your eyes. Oh God, no, not a song. Oh. In your mind, make believe, and there you are. There's something that bothers me in this scene besides the song. The cinematography and lighting is beautiful, but it's all wasted on this god awful movie. Close your eyes and wish real hard! A is what you are! I don't know if I can handle this film! How much longer do I have until the end? Mm. Ah! Wait, are there gonna be more songs like this? Mm. No! Please be over, please be over, please be over, please be over! So after that nonsense, night comes in and Cody repeatedly tells their grandparents that Barney is in their barn and they're like, oh, okay. Barney? 
the dinosaur is in your barn. Yes, and you need to be in a mental ward. And of course, we get another song, but this time, not by Barney. Well, thank goodness. Let's hear this song. Let me call you sweetheart. I'm in love with you. Let me hear you whisper that you love me too. Keep the love light glowing in your eyes so blue. Let me call you sweetheart. I'm in love with you. Sorry, man, but you're no Christopher Plummer. So as everything seems going okay... It's beautiful! Hey, ah! It's the new coming of Michael Jackson! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I almost killed you! And if you think if it didn't get worse... Twinkle, twinkle... Ah! <laughs> you know this song, so sing along! notice a glowing star falling, as he wished for an adventure like no other. Later on, the supposed star fell into the barn, and it turns out to be a mysterious egg. And what's in the egg, you might say? We'll mention it later. The next morning arrives as... Please, not that child-touching freak again! Well, we'd better get started having fun right now! Great! Another song is playing! No! Cody gets in a barn as he discovers this mysterious egg. Barney, Abby, and Marcella arrives to see what it looks like as a color appeared. So they leave the barn to go to their grandparents' house as we see. Oh, oh, hello! Uh, what the hell is this? And I'm looking for my blankie. It's lost. What's the purpose of this? Have you seen it? Is there any reason to stop the movie just because someone lost their blanket? I can understand stopping the show, but the movie? Because at this time, nearly half of the theater should have left by now without any refunds. <laughs> ah, fuck it, let's continue on with this movie. So, as Cody, Abby, and Marcella tell their grandparents about the egg, Cody runs into their house to find Barney and the egg, as he was the last person, or thing, who had it, as we see... Oh god, no, sweet mother of god, no! You're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Oh no! No, no, no! If you're happy and you know it, no, no. If you're happy uh, and you know just it, no. face will surely... No, Barney, no! You're not clapping your hands, you're clapping something else! So there you are. Oh, thank Where's God Cody's going? here. So the gang is on their way to the bird lady's house that looks like an Animal Kingdom version of Peavy's Playhouse. She is named Mildred Goldfinch, played by Renee Madeline Le... She's a terrible actress. And this is our personal oh, friend. Wait, don't tell me. A purple plumed Peruvian parrot. <laughs> no. <laughs> As they figure out what this egg is all about. Can you tell us what's oh, inside Oh, yeah. Egg? We can't tell forget about a damn song, shouldn't we? And we wonder what's God, inside This song should be used as for your hardcore criminals. It. Maybe it's a baby chimpanzee. Maybe it's a fluffy little dog. So far, we aren't having any luck. Oh. Maybe it's a cousin of E.T.'s. A tiny hummingbird. And we wonder what's inside it. We can't see you. Who's inside it? Enough already! Just get to the point about this damn egg! Oh, thank God. So as another color pops up on the egg, the gang discovered a book about this special egg. This egg contains a dream maker, and... 
Well, let's have Mildred explain this. Every thousand years or so, an egg falls from the skies. Inside the shell, the dream maker prepares its big surprise. A visitor from days gone by, who has a gift to share for boys and girls around the world, for children everywhere. But mark you well the very spot where first the egg is found. For when the colors all have changed, it must hatch on this ground. Yes, we get it. Now let's just continue. What does she mean? Well, the egg will hatch when all five of these rings light up. Can we just get on with it? I think that. Ah, here we go. So the egg just so happens to go through a perfectly egg-shaped hole, falls perfectly into one of the birdseed barrels, and as the truck driver just so happens to drive off. Boy, these kids are having bad luck. So as the truck drives off with the egg, the gang makes a chariot for their horse. Okay, Agnes, it's all up to you. Just use your imagination. Please put me in the glue factory. <laughs> oh, look, it's the kid version of Caligula. So the chase is on, and is it me, or do I want this guy's truck? I mean, it has a built-in cafeteria and everything. Excuse me! You're kidding me, right? Are we really going to have to go with this crap the entire movie? I mean, this will put the mindless children even more lost because of how complicated the plot really is right now. Hey, it could have been worse. It could have been Baby Butt interrupting a life-changing meeting to find her blanket. Alright, soldiers. We really need to think hard about this one. ISIS is planning a way to terrorize our nation. Even though our country is completely secure on every transportation we have, we still need to find a way to defeat them! But how? Uh... Excuse me! <sighs> yes, Baby Bop! Do you know where my blank is? No! Are you sure? Yes, I'm really sure! Are you really sure? Yes, I'm really, really sure. Really sure? Yes, I am sure. Okay. I'm gonna find my blankie. Alert, alert. ISIS has taken over the United States. Alert, yeah! alert. Our truck driver was halted by a policeman. The gang arrives to rescue the egg as we. Huh? Oh. Oh. You fucking mouth! So the gang reunites and starts looking for the egg. They found it with a marching bandish cheerleading type of. They're awful! You're telling me. As they perform, the third color ring arrived, but our tuba player trips and falls as the egg is in the tuba. And then... No, I'm missing all up. I believe I can fly. But luckily, one of our memorable characters caught the egg. But I can't seem to remember his name. What was it again? What? Oh, oh, God. damn it! What? What? So as BJ caught the egg, he gets caught in the act of football as he throws it into a lady's hat as she goes into a fancy restaurant. The gang follows her as they try to find the egg until there it is. Let's go get it. <laughs> Welcome to Chez Snub. Come right this way, please. Congrats! 
Congratulations, sir! You just won the award for the most unrealistic, stereotypical French accent in film history! Way to go, way to go! <laughs> the gang needs to find a way to distract everybody so that they can find the A. Within a few seconds, Barney came up with a great idea. Uh, if it's gonna be another song, I think I'm gonna go batshit crazy! I'd like to invite you to sing along with one of the all-time great musical masterpieces. No! 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 Standing outside with my mouth open wide. <laughs> and wouldn't you know, everyone got distracted as the rest of the gang tried to find the egg. But as the song ends, thank God, the gang wants to know where the order is going with the egg inside of it. But where's the egg? Oh, that great big colorful thing? Yeah. Yes! We put it in a to-go sack. What? We sent it back to those clowns at the circus. The circus? They've been playing tricks on us ever since they got to town. It's one of their takeout orders. <laughs> Wait until they crack it open. What? Oh, don't like the sound of that. Come on, everybody, come on. So the gang hurries up to the circus as they try to find the egg, but to no avail. No. 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 Oh. But as the gang notices the egg, a circus act lifts up the seesaw as it flies to a juggler. Please, I'm worried about it. Well, young lady, if there's a sudden gust of gravity, will the Dream Maker bounce? No. Then we're both worried about it. <laughs> there is a way to stop called the Peking Duck Trick. Well, how does that go? The Peking Duck Trick goes like this. First, you all close your eyes. Are you peeking? No. no. Then duck. <laughs> wow, what an asshole. As the egg is nowhere to be found, a rainstorm comes by as the gang goes into a tent. As they're inside, the kids have no idea what they're going to do as they decide to give up. Until... When it looks like all is lost and you're... I can't! I just can't! Sit down! Sit down! What could be worse than another song? We're gonna find a way We're a super deep duper team And when we stay together Can't be! What? Cody's singing? <laughs> Dancing? We'll solve the situation with our imagination. Since the beginning of this film, Cody knows that he is too old and too cool for the Barney doll. And ever since that pedophilic dinosaur came alive, he started to get along with Barney to the point of singing and dancing with the gang. And that crushes me and Cameron deeply, 
because since Cody is now singing and dancing with that seventh circle of hell, this movie is going downhill real quick. So all I can say is, fuck you to the writers of this movie, and fuck you, Barney the Dinosaur. So after that song ended, which felt like an eternity, the rain stopped as the gang has swung the circus people where the egg is. Turns out the egg flew so high, it went into a hot air balloon? Okay, this movie's starting to not make sense because I may not know what that egg must feel like, but due to the size of the egg, I highly doubt that the juggler threw the egg so damn high, it goes into a hot air... Never mind. They spot the egg on a certain hot air balloon as it reveals the fourth color stripe as the dream maker is getting close to being born. The gang tried yelling at the hot air balloons, and guess what? It didn't work out. Duh! The gang is starting to admit defeat, until... It's gonna take some imagination. Prepare to use the middle finger in three, two, one. So, as you guessed it, the gang is going to use their imagination by trying to use the log as an airplane. Okay, all aboard the log. <laughs> it's not the log you're talking about. Okay. Prepared for takeoff, Captain. Make believe. Make believe. Flying with the wind in our hair. Come on! Faster! We can do this, we can! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I think we need your help. I'd like you to pretend that we can really fly. So we helped them use our imagination, but unfortunately, they never flew. They never got to the egg in time, as the guy in the hot air balloon used it as breakfast. They went back to the grandparents' house, started to question, what is life? And as they grew up, they never graduated high school, they never had jobs, and they were homeless. So the moral of the story is, never ever trust a man any purple dinosaur outfit. Of course they flew and got the egg! <sighs> so let's end this quick, since we don't want to be like the prisoners from Guantanamo Bay. The gang arrives back to the grandparents' house as they have a rough landing. Well, what kind of game were you kids playing out here? We weren't exactly playing, Grandpa. And we weren't even here most of the time. See, we took that big old egg over to Miss Goldfinch. The bird lady? And her book said that it was a dream maker and that we need to bring it back to the farm. <laughs> Only it took a ride on a truck. And then Barney... The dinosaur. He helped us chase it, but it rolled under a parade. So we went to a French restaurant. But at the circus, the egg got tied to a balloon. Okay, kids. You don't need to give me an exact replica of what just happened. I think you better start at the beginning. Very beginning? Yes. The very beginning. Barney the dinosaur. Hey! Hey! Yes, I know. A lot of hay. <laughs> Boo! That was awful! That was the worst joke I've ever heard in my entire life! Just like this movie! I need some alcohol, quick! The fifth and last color arrived. So that means Cody must bring the egg back to where it originally landed so the hatching at night begins. I'm sure nothing is going to go wrong here. Oh, no! Oh, no! Actually, Baby Bob just so happened to finally found her blanket as the egg landed on it. Then it turned into night all of a sudden as the egg begins to hatch. What's cracking? What is that thing? It looks like a reject from the Muppets. Just as it was born, the Dream Maker called. Winkin? Either they ran out of ideas for the movie, or... Yeah, I think they ran out of ideas. As it shows what Abby's dream is. 
Abby. Oh, is, is this your dream? Yes. And I'm seeing it. I'm a good actor. Barney? Yes, Cody? I was a big doofus before, and I think you're pretty cool. So the dream maker flies over to the grandparents house spewing glitter all over the house as it goes back to Barney. And that's the movie! I hope you enjoyed watching this review. I love you.